Good day everyone, we are the presenters from Davao del Norte State College and we're here to present our study entitled The Story Behind Dropout Students of Teacher Education Program in Transition to Online Learning, a Case Study. Online higher education continues to grow, yet its high dropout rates remain a pressing and a complex problem. Over the last 20 years, research on dropout in online higher education has gained importance as official online programs showed significantly higher student dropout rates than face-to-face -face programs, according to Graubel de Serra 2018. In China, the dropout rate for traditional learning is about 5%, while the dropout rate for e-learning is as high as 15-40% to 40%, according to Tan and Xiao 2015. Uwami now 2021 through South Asia studies stated that in the Philippines, it was reported that for the school year 2020 to 2021, or the pandemic school year, around 3 million learners opted not to enroll or continue their education at the basic education level. For context, this number is almost equal to the entire population of Quezon City, having 2.94 million. According to the data of Department of Education Davao Region, as of July 17, DepEd Davao recorded a total of 1,046,631 public school enrollees from kindergarten to senior high school for the school year 2020 to 2021. This is lower than the 1,161,883 enrollees from school year 2019 to 2020. For the research design, the proponents of this study chose a case study methodology that enables researchers to conduct an in-depth exploration of intricate phenomena within some specific context. GOM, Hammersley, and Foster 2000 stated that the case study refers to research that investigates a few cases in considerable depth. We use this case study design because we aim to discover the stories of dropout students in teacher education program at Davao del Norte State College to obtain relevant data as our potential reference. For the research participants, this study is interested in the stories of dropout students from teacher education program as a target and aim participants. The researchers utilize purposive sampling and snowballing technique as they chose their participants who can provide in-depth and detailed information about the phenomenon under investigation. Investigation. According to Cresswell and Clark 2011, purposeful sampling is a technique widely used in qualitative research for the identification and selection of information-rich cases of the most effective use of limited resources. Thus, the researchers selected 16 participants to engage in the study in order to gather data and descriptions of the problem to conduct a case study supported by Guest et al. 2006, which is similar to his findings, saturation was obtained after an average of 12 to 13 interviews. One of the first study to empirically quantify saturation, which reported saturation after 12 interviews. For the data collection, maintaining the integrity of research necessitates according accurate data collecting. Thus, the proponents of this study ensure that the process of data collection adhere to the systematic way of gathering the data needed to suffice the study. During the crafting of the study, the researchers sought first the permission to conduct the study the research title Consultation and Validation. Upon the approval, an official list of dropout students in the teacher education program, handed by the program chairpersons of Davao del Norte State College, was secured with a pledge to keep it confidential. Then, dropout students from the official list that were randomly chosen to participate in the in-depth interview or IDI and another six had undergone the focus group discussion or FD, FGD. Furthermore, the researchers also guarantee that the conduct of this interview is strictly bounded with a validated interview guide questions or IGQ. It was assured that the parameters of and ethical consideration of this study was guided by the Institute of Teacher Education Ethics Review Committee and the data collection began after the Institute of Education's Research Extension Program Coordinator has given her approval. For the theoretical lens, this study is supported predominantly by Abraham Maslow's Hierarchy of Needs 1943, which points out the basic human needs. Maslow suggests that without the fulfillment of these needs, an individual may feel discouraged, weak, and inferior. And in line with this study, if a student feels discouraged and inferior, motivation may be affected and thus, there will certainly be inhibitions, especially with his performance in school. 
For the data analysis, this study employs thematic analysis. In this process, the transcribed and translated data of the researchers was handed to a data analyst for the theming and identification of core ideas. For results in discussion, for research question number one, the emerging themes are difficulty in balancing school and work schedules, mental health issues due to test bombardment, inability to resist online games temptation, gadget and internet connection errors, and adverse financial situation. First is the difficulty in balancing school work schedules. It has been shown to have a negative effect on academic performance according to Darulia in year 2014, which the participant experienced during the online learning setup. According to Cinderella, a working student, she had difficulty in time management in school and full-time work. Next is mental health issues due to test bombardment. Adolescents who were subjected to a severe stressor were roughly three times more likely than their classmates who were not exposed to drop out in the following months, according to Duperi et al. at year 2018. Moana shared her own experience about how unfinished schoolwork caused her to drop out rather than continue. Next is inability to resist online games temptation. They discovered that the kids are unable to concentrate on their studies, are unable to complete their homework and assignments, and that their low grades do not necessarily indicate bad academic performance according to Rudika in Talania in year 2019. Christoph stated that the greatest temptation he faced in online class was playing online games. Gadget and con internet connection errors. According to Batikulun et al. in year 2021, a lack of devices and connections for e-learning has been connected to increased stress among students and a bad internet connection has been identified as a primary challenge for students completing online classes. Elsa expressed sentiments about her inability to handle the schoolwork due to a lack of an appropriate online device and internet connection. Next is the adverse financial situations. Lack of financial support increased the number of students who dropped out, which was a big issue for our participants. During the university years, the students' financial position and the family financial situations were strongly linked to the reasons for dropping out, according to Putsai in year 2019. Isabel also shared the same difficulty regarding lack of financial resources. Next is for research question number two. The emerging themes are getting support system from families and friends, keeping a positive outlook in life, concentrating on work to earn money, diverting focus to other tasks, and planning to pursue education when face-to-face -face resumes. For getting support systems from families and friends, as cited in such, situ in such situations, parents may become a source of comfort for their children by soothing their discomfort and stress. It has been suggested that parents be educated how to offer emotional support to their children during times of uncertainty, according to Wang et al. in year 2020. Christoph shared about how family and friends contri contributed to his coping mechanism. Keeping a positive outlook in life. When dealing with stress, viewing the situation in a positive light and having a broad optimistic expectations for the outcome might help you feel better. Positive thinking appears to be significant in the stress response according to Livingstone in year 2012. Pocahontas stated that even if she did not continue, there was a purpose waiting for her. For concentrating on work to earn money, participants in the study were also motivated to earn money in order to achieve their goals, particularly to provide for and assist their families. Due to work obligations, some students take fewer credits. Students who are enrolled part-time or full-time spend less time studying, according to Darulia in year 2014. Isabel stated her plans to pursue her study again after she can save up from work. Diverting focus to other tasks. Dropping out gives you the opportunity to think about your next steps. Make the most of your time away from school by planning your entrepreneurial ventures, according to Noronha in year 2020. Philip shared that music helped sustain himself after, after the situation he dropped out. Planning to pursue education when face-to-face -face resumes. Traditional classroom teaching, according to Sue and Sagars in year 2016, delivers real-time face-to-face training and stimulates inventive inquiries. It also enables for some flexible content, distribution, and immediate teacher reaction. More inspiration, encouragement, and guidance are available in the classroom. Christophs 
gave a sincere response when asked about his plans to return to school. For research question number three, the emerging themes are dropping from school is painful and depressing, time and task management is essential in schooling, face-to-face -face is better than online class, online class exacerbates inequality in education, and aspiration to continue schooling despite the hiatus. For the dropping from school is painful and depressing, students who chose to drop out of school encountered a variety of problems. According to HIFOC, Focus Centers 2017, students who drop out of high school are more likely to suffer from mental health problems such as depression. Moana struggled for several days to think about and balance a situation in which she voiced her sentiments during the interview. Time and task management is essential in schooling. Despite all the distractions, study participants learned how to manage their time. Time management skills have been proved to improve student learning and outcomes. Students learn more effectively when they learn to manage their time wisely according to Merkan Laya Blue 2010. Ariel said that managing her time was tough for her. For face-to-face -face instruction is better than online class, this is back by the fact that face-to-face -face learning helps pupil pupils get the opportunity to interact with their lecturers and classmates. Overall, online learning makes it more difficult to, for pupils to study because their typical learning environment is largely gone according to PIT 2020. Isabel stated that it was more effective to reach out students personally in terms of motivation and lectures. For online class exacerbates inequality in education, according to Yelena 2021, educational disparities exacerbated by lack of qualified education. Millions of youngsters around the world have limited access to schools and qualified teachers and current learning resources. Anna's perspective describes how online classes were unjust to students who struggle due to the lecturer's indifference. And lastly, for aspire to continue schooling despite the hiatus, former college students who left before completing their degrees thought free or low cost tuition, flexible schedules, and guaranteed job placements would enhance their likelihood likelihood of re-enrolling according to a new poll done by the National Student Clear Clearinghouse Research Center according to Swartz 2019. Cinderella expressed emotions about returning to school to finish their degrees after dropping out. For the discussion of key, fi key findings, this study has matched the descriptions of Abraham Maslow's Hierarchy of Needs, 1943, which points out the basic human needs. When he is supplemented and believed that exposure to environmental conditions that permit or prohibit gratification of the basic needs prompts movement up or down the hierarchy of needs. Upon the review of the supporting related literature, the researchers had proved that the online learning setup has triggered some of the dormant factors that may affect the student's performance and perseverance in learning, such as the financial incapacity, isolation, and imprisoning exposure to family problems, and difficulty to develop a coping mechanism. For the amplifications of practice, this study brought out apprehension to the institution and the teachers of the Waddell North State College with regards to the situation of voluntarily dropping out of student in teacher education program during the transition of online learning. For teachers, when it comes to learning approach, the results show that majority of the students had a hard time on learning independently and often encountered struggles due to the number of academ academic workloads given in a specific period of time. For students, the results show that time and task management is essential in an online learning setup. Thus, in order to persist persistently keep up and survive the online learning modality, self-discipline and focus must be maintained. For Including remarks, the student situation and progress in learning is always be a priority of every school. It is what makes it an institution for it serves as the molding ground of professionals that the world needs the most. The phenomenon of this research is an eye-opener to the institution, teachers, and students that academic crisis can occur at any time. By the stories that the researchers heard from the participants and the ver veracity divulged, our conclusion has been made in the end that the shift to online class setup is needed a substantial challenge to the students. The participants of this research are one of the few brave students who chose their self, family, and financial responsibilities first. Despite the setbacks in their academic journey, the willingness 
strives to still pursue education and continue to be suc successful individual remains.